Dalton. RJ. Dalton. RJ. Dalton. RJ. Dalton. RJ. Dalton. RJ. Welcome to Hey EW. I am RJ City, and my guest is Dalton Castle. Hey. Hey. Not too bad. You were born in Rochester, New York. A lovely place. Home of the Rochester International Jazz Festival. It's been going on for 22 years. You haven't been once. How come? I've been several times. I've seen Jeff Goldblum play there. Really? Yeah. Is he good or is he, look, I'm Jeff Goldblum, tinkle, 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 that routine. He, yeah, it's pretty much just the tinkling. And everyone has to pretend to like it. Well, usually he makes you not look at the stage. It's a <sighs> weird act he does. Back Jeff, only. Jeff, 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 Jeff. You know, normally I will look up the notable people from a guest hometown and josh them. Mm -hmm. But Rochester actually has a notable pro wrestler's Wikipedia. You're not on that either. You want to guess who? Brody Lee. Yes. Yes, of course. Gorilla Monsoon. Mm-hmm. China. Yeah. Roadblock. And Philip Seymour Hoffman. Mm, close. What? I think you mean Colin Delaney. <laughs> yeah, Colin Delaney is on the list, and you're not. What, what did you do wrong? Uh, there's a lilac festival every year. Big festivals in Rochester. Deathly allergic to lilacs. Oh. I think they uh, they don't want me associated with oh, it. Oh, my. Yeah. That's a real shame. Could you imagine? You yes, invite I could. a big star like me to a festival, which is a death I think Jeff Goldblum thing. comes and goes, mm, aren't these great? Mm. I once read that growing up, your favorite wrestler was Frank Gotch. Seriously? Yeah. OK. What's your favorite Frank Gotch match? Uh, the one where he goes, ah! Uh -huh, yeah. yeah, you got a lot of Frank Gotch posters on your wall. Ever order no, a no. Frank Gotch cameo? There's not a lot of pictures of him. There wasn't a lot of film back then. What did he look like? Uh, big. You, know, you were a fan of the idea of him. <sighs> well, my parents used to pray to Gotch every night. OK. I understand. So it was brought down from your father. Yeah. He was a Gotch man. It's not like something I chose to be. You kind of raised a Frank Gotch Clearly. Fan. You wrestled amateur for 10 years. And, and amateur is different from pro wrestling because they go like this, right? This is a big space. Yeah, it is a big space. We're trying to be intimate. Just focus on me. Focus on the energy here. It's hard here. to, like, okay. I want Let's it to focus. be just... Look at me. Just look at me. We are in a large room, and I, it's just us. I understand that. It feels like a complete waste of space. I'm trying to illustrate to everyone your amateur credentials, OK? Would okay. you just focus? OK, if I'm trying. <sighs> you wrestled for the NAACP, which stood for what? I don't, I don't think you got that right. I, well, it's what it said. No, what I, does that stand for? It was the NCAA. Oh, yeah. And never mind, I'm not interested. Why didn't you use your amateur credentials to coast in pro wrestling? Because pro wrestlers let amateurs do whatever they want. Why don't you show up with a mouth guard and you're just like, I'm not gonna run the ropes. Why not do that? It's very tough for me to breathe. With a oh, mouth okay. Yeah. So you obscured your credentials to have everyone think you're an idiot. No. And then you do a bridge and everyone goes, wow, that it's thing? It's about cardiovascular uh, abilities. Like, I need to get oxygen to the... Look, I didn't ask for these muscles, RJ, I but understand. I've got them and they're very large and they require oxygen. It's hard to smell lilacs with those muscles. Exactly, so, yeah. You also hosted morning radio. What did you do? Like, traffic coming up next, but first, here's Puddle of Mud, that kind of thing? I did do the traffic. Oh, my. I did do really? the traffic. Give me a little morning doll. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, we're getting some backup on the interchange from 390 South coming on to 490 West. The usual slowdowns coming off there onto the inner loop, which is you're going to see about a 10 minute delay. Got an accident. Oh, my. An accident piling up on Monroe Avenue. You want to stay to the left because there is a ruffian gang to the right there. See, I, I this, get it now. This report brought to you by Flaming Hot Doritos. Doritos. We you gotta get. We don't want to give them any free oh, plugs, sure, please. Sure. Flaming you... hot, unspecific corn chip. So much better. And then you got kicked off the air for controversial comments. Mm -hmm. or, yeah. Yeah. And I think you owe that country an apology. Your finishing move is called the bang around. Oh. Is it? <clears throat> Your finishing yeah. move is called the bang around, in tribute to the movie Hook. Uh huh. Why bit... would you name your move after such a box office bomb? What are you? What are you... What are you... Well, what? it was just so expensive. The, the set was so expensive. Steel, Spielberg took too much of the profits. What do you, what you want me to call the... it? Like a, a few good men or uh, something? What about the birdcage? Oh, that, that would be great. Be... Okay, the, the Hook is a great movie. Okay. People live in trees. Not they fight the pirates and they th thrusting all it was day. Too what is not to love? Okay, okay, enough. Enough. We get it. All right, we're doing a thing here. Can't you see I'm busy? This is a big opportunity for us, and you're ruining it! You're ruining it! I'll scram! 
They lived in trees mm -hmm. and they fought pirates. It's a beautiful movie. Point taken, I understand. You also have a move called the Julie Newmar. Oh, yeah. I have one called the Lee Merriweather, and it's not quite the same. You're known as the party peacock. Wait, what do you do in the, the Lee Merriweather? What's your I'm move? Not I'm not going to show you now on this disgusting floor. Oh, yeah. yeah. You booked this but room. But it's by a the good way. time. By the way, it was cheap. Too big. Too big of a room. Do you hear the echo? It's cavernous. Yeah. You're known as the party peacock. Like your heart. Here's a little tip. No. Nobody calls me the party peacock. Okay, what do they call you? Either peacock or power peacock. I popped the power. Yeah. I got the power of the peacock pumping through my veins. The peacock thing? Probably not a good idea to name yourself after the streaming platform that the competition is on. I was a bird well before there was streaming. Well, in case you want a little more brand synergy, I have some other options for you. Brother Warner, the discoverer. Why do I have to be a brother? Who's my brother? So not, okay. I don't how need about, a large um, family. I'm kind of a lone How about the swimming adult? Here. Okay, and finally, Mr. <laughs> Tiss. <laughs> You're making a mess. Mr. Tiss. <laughs> how do you spell that? TBS. Oh, okay. Yeah. I do like that one. <sighs> what people often forget is that when the peacock fans its feathers, it's to court a mate. So when you come out there and you do your, your big peacock thing, are you really just begging for anyone to have sex with you? It's not just that. Okay. It's called intimidation, too. You, they make themselves look big. Do you want to have sex with me like it's that? It's attention of any type. Do you want to fight this big monster? And also, do you want to kiss me all over? Right. And is that desperation a common thread in your work? Yeah. Fair enough. Do you do the peacock call yourself? Was that you in the, the beginning of your song? Ah, that thing? That's me. Okay, and what's the trick? It's almost like you have a big piece of Italian bread lodged in your throat. You gotta dig deep. It's like you have to have hands in your stomach that pull your diaphragm. Uh -huh. And then you wanna go almost to pterodactyl, mm -hmm. but stop at peacock. Okay, not bad. You wanna go? Ah! See, that's too far pterodactyl. Yeah, that was, and this is... Too much of an echo mm -hmm. here. They say millennials don't know the value of backbreaking work. Is this but you going well? Not if you keep interrupting. Okay. It's just, it's large in here. It's very hot. You just stop. I, I get in the I'm groove and you're like derailing it. I walk in here in my casuals because I think it's going to be comfortable and fun, and now you're getting me with gotcha journalism and making me sweat. They say millennials don't know the value of backbreaking work, but you do because you actually broke your back. Was it worth it? Yeah, look where I'm at. I'm on Hey, E.W. with a broken back. <clears throat> now listen, I'm not a doctor. I don't know how the human body works. But do you think that your broken back was caused in any part from wrestling? It might have something to do with okay. it. Yeah. So you, you were wrestling, you broke your back, and then you continue to wrestle. You don't believe in clear signs from the universe? <laughs> you think my broken back was telling me to stop? I think it was testing me. Okay, it was well, like, hey, 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 slow down. You're so good at this, we need to level the playing ground. Right. Well, keep excessively arching your back, though. I'm sure that's good for the discs. Well, this has been an ostentation. And, and like a Is peacock... That a swear? It could be. It ostentation, if you put a spin in it like that. I don't think you should be keep saying that. Like a peacock, I find you sexually despaired, uh, functionally unrefined, but yet so beautiful to look at. I don't appreciate the way you're phrasing things. Well, I'm not too crazy about your work either. Well, I enjoy coming on this show, but it is hard for me to smile after things you say. Thank you for having yourself. You know what? Mm-hmm. Thank you.